Fiu Fu on the tackle. Bridges. And away go Neath up to Forbin who's coming as the extra man. The kick ahead. Higgs chasing. Cordell's back to Vicardi. And Higgs challenging. Cordell may have made a mess of it. Recovered well. But Neath having run some 90 yards. And away they come again. Bridges trying to find Jeremy Pugh. Well, Eddie Buckley, there certainly seems to be a difference of pace about the two sides. Yes, indeed. Every time Neath have, have stolen the ball from Cardiff, they've looked to move it up the right-hand side of the pitch. Great enterprise by Paul Thorburn, knowing that the, the overlap was covered, kicking ahead, and the chase there. And initially, Gerald Corden does very well to get back, covering the opposite wing. But at the end of the day, he fumbles it, and it, there is always a question mark over his handling ability. The two Phillipses together, both internationals. Kevin Phillips with a throw. To the middle of the line, a tap down by Tawellian Bridges coming round, looking for the support from David Pickering. Bateman with a chip and is picked up by Howard Stone. And this could be Carr's first serious attack. Just underneath the neat post. And the roof has it being held. Collins to David Evans. Tipped out to Joe Cordell going to the corner. Cordell, has he got there? Has he grounded the ball? No says the referee having had consultations with the touch judge but it was a close thing indeed yes indeed good play by the forwards black ball and above all howard stone clearing up untidy ball and then the clever pass by mark ring in the center the overhead pass missing out david evans and then gerald call going for the corner but what great cover tackling by the neath defenders no prisoners taken this kind of game the dropout having been taken on to mark jones Made some 10 metres, Bridges to Paul Williams, to Kevin Phillips, looking for Edmonds. Edmonds with the chip, Rea coming over for Cardi. The high up and under from Rea from one full back to the other. Forbin inside is 22. <laughs> this match has genuine pace. And a booth of Cardiff. From beneath scrum half, the little chip over Paul Williams. Forburn, read it well, and here can meet again. All the way to Bateman, to Colin Leite. He's got Edmonds, the speed merchant, outside him. Leite making tracks. It's Edmonds against Cordell. Edmonds, but Cordell got his man that time. Two of the top try scorers in Welsh rugby. Cardiff's cover stretched to the full. Line out in the sunshine at St Helens. Six metres outside at the Cardiff 22 metre line. Leith have it. Bridges. Paul Williams. Leite. The move had been called. A little bit of hesitancy in the Neath play that time. But away comes Bridges. Williams. Edmonds giving chase. Booth is back there. Andrew Ruth kick. And that could be a real telling one. It's just trickling away. Corbin giving chase. And fielding. But that's a marvellous kick by Andrew Booth, the real tester for Paul Forburn. Bob Norster. Edwards at the back, failed to gather. Pugh's there, under Chris Bridges. Beneath back row, giving the scrum half some support. And away they go once again. This is Brian Williams trying to get his fellow prop, Jeremy Pugh, into the action, but this is Pickering up towards the 10-metre line. Has he found Higgs? Higgs on the far side. Superb cover by Cardiff. Oh, they got there well. Chris Higgs at that time really threatening the Cardiff try line. But the Cardiff cover answered the question. What a great run by David Pickering. Again, standing off the rucks and walls, picking up the scraps from the front five on the charge, and then delivering a superb pass to Chris Higgs to give him a chance to get away. Interesting ploy this time that Cardiff have reduced their line out. First time in the match after 22 minutes of play. Mark Edwards, number eight at the back. Five is Norster, four stone at the front. Up against uh, Hugh Richards, Gareth Llewellyn, and Mark Jones for Neath. Norster not winning the day that time and uh, a little bit disgruntled about it as well. As Bridges waits for the feed, Gary Fevin has a look at the position of the Cardiff three quarters, but away come Cardiff. And a booth to David Evans. Can the Cardiff back row get there? Sure they can. Richard Collins up towards the 22-metre line. 
ball goes loose and it's furious inside there but Mark Jones winning the day out to Bridges and meets survive not for the first time today Cardiff losing possession in the tackle that the the one difference so far has has been that Leith have kept the short passes going amongst themselves and made good ground Cardiff have been driving forward Leith have pinched the ball on more than one occasion Forburns restarts. Jones takes it beautifully up towards the 10 meter line on the halfway line. Jeremy Poo is there as well. So too is Hugh Richards. He set it up on the 10 meter line. It's the captain, Kevin Phillips. Bridges there as Cardiff attempt to recover. Oh, that has been so symptomatic, characteristic of this first half. That kind of style of front and the way they go again, the short penalty. Phillips makes it available to Bridges. David Pickering is the extra man, the flanker, trying to set it up. Bridges, Thorburn, might have thought of a drop goal that time. But Thorburn still going. And away they come again. The ball made available for Brian Williams on the short side. Kevin Phillips, burrowing his way through. And the Welsh All Blacks eating up ground as Bridges comes wide. Tackled by the Cardiff cover. The defence is there. The loose ball and the penalty going to Neath with Cardiff offside. Oh, what an amazing piece of rugby football, Eddie Butler. Excellent play by the Neath balls, driving on and driving on all the time. But Neath, they will run the ball once again. The slap of the hands, Phillips, Mark Jones going for the corner. The weight goes in from the neath eight as Bridges goes wide to David Pickering. Hasn't quite got there. Some really telling tackles by Cardiff. But here come Neath again. Beachman has another goal. That's the third attempt. The Cardiff unwilling to yield so far. As Neath go hunting to the left of the Cardiff post. Scrum fives as referee Derek Bevan. It's examination time for the Cardiff defence once again as Bridges puts in. And away goes Mark Jones on the far side of Paul Williams. Can he get the pass out? Not that time. To Pickering. Surely Neath must score on the far side. Could it be Higgs? Higgs scores a try. It's come at last. They promised it for so long. Chris Higgs, the 20-year-old, scores a try in his first cup semi-final. Leith hammering away, close to the scrum again, and this time they do release the ball wide, and it becomes simple in the end, the pass from Bateman to Chris Higgs over in the corner. That really is the first opportunity Neath have had to spread the ball wide, and when they do it, they took, take full advantage. Try, Raya kicked a second penalty to make it 7-6 to Neath at half-time. We rejoin it early in the second half. Neath then with the wind in this second half. Kevin Phillips with a throw on the 22-meter line inside the Cardiff half. A lob one, well taken by Mark Jones at the tail. Brian Williams trying to clean up for Neath. And Neath with that rolling ball with a pickup by Richie Collins. Good recovery by the Cardiff flanker. Booth is there too for Cardiff. The ball comes Neath's way to Colin Leite. Batesman half held, the ball comes to Chris Hicks, could this be his second try? Up against Paul, put in touch, and it was ever so nearly Chris Higgs's second moment of glory at St Helens. Neath once again stealing possession off Cardiff, and all of a sudden everything opened up on the right-hand side, but it was good defence by Steve, Steve, Cordell, uh, Steve Ford, sorry, grabbing Chris Hicks at the corner. Two international flankers at the tail there, David Pickering, 23 caps for Wales, and the former Welsh captain alongside Richie Collins. And Neath seemed to have the possession from this one. And Cardiff this time being accused of using the hands. Interesting to see what they do with this one. They might have thought of a long shot, indeed they have. Kevin Phillips just waiting for the former Neath captain to come up. The shrug of the shoulders, the sideways glance, and then the run. Thorburn, he struck it well, it looks promising, it's there. All of 
58, 59 metres, Paul Thorburn increases neatly. 10 points to 6. Alan Phillips having some difficulty in finding his uh, comrade in arms in the middle, Bob Norster. This time being forced to go to the back of the lineup, but there is Norster this time on to Steve Blackmore. Cardiff deep inside the Neath 22 metre line, but somehow Neath come away with it. And it's deep on the counter attack. Alan Edmonds trying to weave his way back towards support. Pickering to Bridges, Williams, Leighty, Bateman onto Higgs. There wasn't a knock on, says the referee, and it's Higgs up against D4. He's got some pace. Nearly got the better on C4 that time. But a put in touch. Once again, though, Neath have this incredible knack of stealing the ball just when they seem to be under most pressure. And what's more, having stolen it, they look to run out of their own 22. Good defence again by Steve Ford. I wonder whether Cardiff have noticed the tactic. Near the Neath backs coming up so early and so flat as Phillips throws. The ball won by Cardiff. Booth to David Evans. Mark Ring, the Minnesota man again to Steve Ford. Ford up against Higgs this time. Ford, bobbing and weaving, having a look for the support. That's a testing kick. It'll be brought back by the wind, however. It's taken by Andrew Booth. Superbly positioned. Blackmore on the far side to David Evans. Has he got the support? Cardiff wanting the possession so desperately. But uh, a little bit of a niggle in the game between a few personalities. Richard Collins having a good laugh to David Pickering. The penalty having been spotted, or at least the infringement having been spotted by the touch judge on the far side. It's a penalty to Cardiff. And how the Cardiff supporters would cheer if this one should go over. Rea with six points to his credit so far this afternoon. Ten points to six. The flags go up. It's now ten points to nine. Cardiff certainly coming back into this cup semi-final through the boot of Mike Rea. Cardiff and the cup experts of the 80s. A point behind me. David Evans of the restart. Just a little chip in front of his forwards. Martins gathers over the 22-meter line. As Neath trying to respond immediately to that penalty. Bridges to Paul Williams to Pickering. The extra man. Neath very fond of using that ploy. Out to Colin Leighty. Leighty on the far side. He's got Edwards. That's the chip meant for Edwards. Can he get behind Cordell? Nobody got a finger to it. No one got a finger to it. And indeed it's a penalty to Neath. Cardiff offside. Up a little bit too early. This to make it 13 points to nine. Thorburn with a kick. He slotted it over. Four points the difference once again. But this match is full, still full of expectation. Booth, way to David Evans. And a little bit of barging that time. This time by Mark Edwards. Phillips away. On goes Gareth Thewellin. The young lock from Clenharan. Up towards the 10 metre line. Bridges away to Paul Williams to David Pickering. Late is there's the half break on it. They can make use of it. Paul Williams. Williams has got Bateman outside to Higgs. Cardiff are there in numbers though. Higgs trying to break inside. Oh, that was well worked by me. But Cardiff had plenty of cover in the corner when required. Yes. Colin Leighty in the centre showing good, good sense there. The one-handed pass after the half-break, giving me the overlap. And really, the loop pass didn't give Chris Higgs the, the chance to run onto the ball at top speed there. And the whole movement slowed down. Cardiff offside. And one wonders whether Kevin Phillips will think about taking a quick one. And that's 10 metres. That's in discipline by Jeff Whitefoot. The half tap by Hugh Richards to Kevin Phillips. Meant for Chris Bridges as Neath set it up. Brian Williams on the roll. Bridges on the short side. Paul Williams, the switch of attack to Bateman. 
They've been on the far side. He's got Leite. Can he get the pass away to Alan Edwards? Edwards will score for the corner. Edwards, the top try scorer, gets another one, but that's a very important one because that extends the league lead to 17 points to nine. Irresistible pressure once more, and the tactic remains the same. Smash at the heart of the car defense, defense through the front row and the second row and the back row piling in and then spin the ball wide and suddenly Cardiff are looking very tired in defense. Missed tackles in the center and plenty of room to put the winger away. Thorburn with a conversion. 17 points to nine. He's kicked that one as well. The try by Alan Edmonds and the conversion by Paul Corbin. 19 points to nine. Neath go into the lead. Bridges the release, the pick up by Mark Jones. Pickering is there too. Paul Williams. Safety into touch despite the challenge of Alan Phillips. Neath now quite content to use his possession just to get inside the Cardiff Park. Robert North is still urging his men on. To the back, away comes David Pickering. He'll link up with Colin Leite. Leite's little chip. Bateman chasing rare in position. Rare hounded by the Neath midfield. And how quickly those knee forwards have come upfield. Cardiff front row, a little bit slow in getting to the action. But away come Cardiff. David Evans. Can he produce something unexpected to Gerald Cordell on the far side? Up towards the 10 metre line. The kick has it gone out. In fact, the bounce denying Gerald Cordell a second bite, but going into touch. The throw in by Phillips back to the Cardiff side. Cardiff winning some line out ball. Ring, the delay, the drop goal. Has it got there? It's there. Mark Ring caught between uh, two minds. A little bit annoyed with his three quarter line, making the most and getting some points on the board with a drop goal. Yes, Mark Ring getting himself out of a very awkward position there. That somehow the timing of all the three quarters running around him simply isn't there today. And the uh, the Neath backs were up, and he was left only with the option of the drop goal, and he took it very well. <laughs> 